Hey guys, it's Mad with Under Stamp Video, and today we are going to be opening up a grab bag from the United Kingdom. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I do grab bag exchanges. So you send me a grab bag, um, I open it up on my channel, I then send you a grab bag back. I also show everyone on the channel what I'll be sending you back in a video as well. Um, normally I do two videos because I have, let me show you guys all the grab bags I gotta do. Because I have so many grab bags I have to do, I'm gonna start doing the grab bag exchanges in one video. So the first part of this video will be me showing you the highlights of the stuff that is in this grab bag and then the second part of the video will be showing the stamps that I will be sending back more of like a highlight um, type of grab bag um, give back just because I think I have like eight I need to do in the next week um, before um, you know the holidays come up and I have to spend time with my family so um, might be a little bit different format I still hope you enjoy it um, but yeah again I'll be just super transparent show you guys what I'm getting and what I'm sending um, so yeah so we'll get right into it um, I did already open this one right here just to make it easier so I wouldn't have to do it on camera. So we'll reach on in. And this one sounded like it had a coin or something in it um, from what I can remember. Yeah, see, it's right here. Awesome. All right, I'll put that up there. Um, so right off the bat, we have these coins. You know what? I should probably read the letter first. You know? Those coins are distracting me. All right, guys. I am going to read this letter, and then I will get back to you all. Um, and let you guys know what it says, um, and I'll show it to you if there's no personal information in here. All right, hang in there. So I read the letter. Um, it's my friend Chris. Um, he sent me this grab bag. He explains the coins are commemorative coins. Um, he says he collects stamps. Um, I collect anything, but am keen to start collecting U.S., Russian, Hong Kong, China, or pre-World War II German stamps. I've got a lot of those, my buddy. Um, so yeah, so he also says his wife collects hobo nickels. Um, so I don't know a lot about hobo nickels, but I do know a little bit. Um, and they're buffalo nickels, but on the side where the Indian head is, I'm pretty sure people go in and basically change the Indian head to be a different um, shape. I've seen army hobo nickels. I've seen, um, you know, different weird hobo nickels. I don't know how to explain them. Just type in hobo nickels on Google. Um, Chris, I don't have any hobo nickels, um, but I'll definitely send you back a few coins um, U.S. coins um, to your wife because I, I'm assuming you guys did this grab bag together. Um, so yeah, so I'll send those back. Um, and he also gave me a postcard, so I'll make sure to send you a postcard back. Um, so yeah, so he's looking for, like I said, U.S., Russian, Hong Kong, China, World War II, um, before World War II German stamps. I got those. So we'll do our best to fulfill that. Um, so now what I'm going to do, like I said, this is going to be a little bit different format. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the highlights. So I'm just going to go through these. And I'll bring you all back in when they're all laid out, and I'll kind of talk about them, the things I saw. Um, and then I will um, switch, and I will show you what I'll be giving him back. Um, so it's a little different. Not one full video unboxing, not one full video of what I'll be sending back. It'll be all condensed into one video. Um, so this whole video is Chris, what I'm getting, and what I'm sending him back. Um, if you want to send me a grab bag, I'll put the address you can send to in the link or in the description down below. Um, send me a grab bag, and I can do what I'm doing here with you. Um, awesome. So we'll just get going. I'm going to go through this and I'll bring you all back in. So we're back. Um, Chris, thank you so much for this grab bag. Um, man, I got you sent me some some really good stamps, some stamps that I already really enjoy. Um, so down here, um, so these are stamps from Ireland. Um, overprinted. Let me see if I get it. There you go. Um, I don't have this one. Um, so I'm, I'm super pumped you sent this to me. Um, I think this is when um, Ireland won their independence. Um, of course, history people that live over in the UK, you know this. I don't know this. I just know it's an overprint. Um, so you can correct my history um, if I said that wrong. Please do. So then people don't think, oh, and there's actually, see, there's like three. So the thing I really enjoy about these right now is this is a one penny. That's a two pence. Same overprint, but different stamp basically underneath. Um, and then this one, I like I said, I don't have this one. So I'm super pumped about that. Um, yeah, we'll move on. Uh, this, if you guys know what this says, I don't know if it's like Venezuela. Yeah, that's what Venezia, Tridentia. I don't see. I don't know what that means. Um, so guys, help me out. 
what this means. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a Italian stamp with that overprint. Um, so, yeah, just let me know. This one's sweet. So this one looks old to me. Um, and honestly, if you look, it looks like there's like a double right there. I think there's one that's a C and there's like an MS. Um, so this one I think is really interesting. And if you guys can give me details on this one, um, this is one that I really care about because I think there's two separate prints right there. Um, yeah, just let me know. Um, you guys are going to let me know. You guys are awesome. You guys always um, find out these things. This might be an, an Indian state stamp. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let me know. Of course. So this is um, an occupation stamp. So when the Allies defeated um, the Axis powers, um, and they took over Germany, and they split it up, um, this one, the overprint. So they still use German stamps, but they overprinted it with that. Um, I hope I said that right. If, I, if I'm wrong, correct me. I don't mind being corrected. I've seen this stamp before, or this right here before. I'm not sure what um, what it says. I think it's, uh, I can't read it, Official Republic or something. Um, so yeah, so this one I'm not too worried about. I've seen it before. Someone has told me what it is, but I don't remember specifically. Um, but yeah, so the main one I, I'm curious about is this, I think it's an Indian state stamp. Um, that one is sweet. It's like I said, it's got like this kind of double print right there. So just, just let me know what y'all think. Um, Chris said these are commemorative coins. Um, and I, they're actually, I'm, I don't want to get it out because I mean, if you touch coins, you can get your oils from your hands on the coins and it can hurt their value. Um, these don't look like old or anything, but they do have, if I can get it, there's two separate, um, reverses. That's like the little bear movie. I forgot what it's called. Sherlock Holmes. Um, but it's it's 50 pence, I believe, is what it is. So that's awesome. I don't have these. I will definitely add these to my coin collection. And then this, he said in his letter, is um, from where he, he lives. Um, so he wanted to send me a postcard from where he lived, um, which I really appreciate. It's a vintage postcard. Um, it's Elephant Rock. And I guess you guys can see the eye, and this looks like a, a, his trunk right here. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so thank you so much for sending this. Um, I will now go get his grab bag ready, and I'll bring y'all in and show you what I'll be sending him back. Um, so stay tuned. And we're back. So I have just put together um, his grab bag. I'm going to show you guys in the same video. I'm um, up here. The stamps that I really enjoy that I set aside. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get right into it. So I have the coins I'm going to send him back, U.S. stamps, and then German stamps. Um, I'm just going to show you guys um, what I'm doing with those. It'll be pretty quick, um, but we'll still get going. So first off, um, he sent me a postcard, so I want to send him this back. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, really, really awesome cancellation there with that right there. Super special. Um, I have a few of these, so I don't mind giving this to him. Um, I hope you enjoy that. Um, this is a star note. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, be on the lookout for these. Um, if you can find these, sometimes these can be worth a lot of money. Sometimes they're just worth a dollar. Um, this one is just, I think, worth a dollar. Um, but still, star notes, very collectible. To many people, I have a ton of them. I just set aside just because they're, they're special and I collect, of course. Um, so there's that. And then I got him, th I'm going to give him three U.S. coins. More, I guess, to his, um, oops, um, to them. But I don't know if you guys see that, 1916 Mercury Dime. Um, if you guys collect coins, you know that the 1960 D mint mark, which means it was minted in Denver, Mercury Dime is... The holy grail of mercury dimes really hard to find um there's a lot of fakes out there you gotta be really careful this one unfortunately is not does not have the d mint mark but it's still a very um sought after coin 1916 d so i thought i'd give um her a 19 or i'm saying her um, because she says she collects hobo nickel so i'm assuming she collects coins um but yeah give her this this uh nice mercury dime for her um Silver quarter, 1964. Um, this quarter, super clean. Um, I think it might have been cleaned by whoever had it before. It looks like there's a D mint mark. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I think it's 90% silver um, is what the quarters used to be. And I like to include these whenever you guys ask for coins. Um, this is the bicentennial quarter. It has a drummer bar on the back. Um, tons of these in circulation. I have hundreds. Um, I hope one day they become... Um, valuable but right now they're just worth a quarter um, but um, I'm sure this isn't super easy for you to get back in the UK so I hope you enjoy this as well all right so we're, we're just going to get right into it um, we're going to get into the 
we'll get into the German stamps first. So um, I'm just going to show these, and I'm just going to talk as I show them. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time. He said he wanted pre-19 or pre-World War II, and I tried to do my best. I just reached in and grabbed um, a handful of stamps from my bin, my German bin. Um, so I hope you enjoy these. Um, if you guys see any stamps that are worth a lot of money, um, please comment down below um, because Chris and his wife, they need to know. <laughs> these are the theirs. I am not keeping these. If I see, I'm literally going to the post office right after this and going to send them to them. Um, so if, if you see something valuable, let them know so they don't, um, so they can put it in a safe place and maybe and go and get some money for it or something. Um, yeah, guys, if you take my stamps and you find out there's one worth a lot of money, um, let everyone know, and you don't owe me anything. Um, I just enjoy doing this, getting to know you guys. Um, Chris sent me a great letter, um, and I love reading those. I have all those letters saved, as well as the, uh, not envelopes, uh, as well as, yeah, the envelopes you send the letters in, the grab bags, and I save most of them because there's postage on them, and um, I know Finya did um, an art one, so um, I, I, I want you guys to know I really love getting those from y'all and I cherish them and I keep them yeah I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you guys watching all the videos um liking the videos commenting on the videos um it's really fun for me um it definitely gives me a break from the the coaching and everything I can come back and stamp is what I call it I call I tell my wife I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp it's a verb now um and probably the one of the better stamps I I gave him is this one right here this is one of the first um, German stamps. I think it's a large shield. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I, this one is sweet. Um, this is a great stamp. It's a duplicate for me. So I'm glad to give it to you, Chris. Um, hope you enjoy this stamp. And then the last German thing is this nice. Don't, I don't know why this is included, but it just is. Um, there you can see Berlin SW. Don't know what that means. Cancellation, but yeah, Pretty cool, thought I'd include that. And now I'll get into US stamps. There's actually a pretty sweet US stamp in here. I'm, I'm throwing his way. Um, let me get this up. I know I say um a lot. I've come to find that out. If, yeah, most of these US stamps, um, yeah, there's here, this one's been canceled, it's a $5 one, which is pretty cool. Um, so I went up with the older route, Chris. Um, I, of course, you guys know, whenever I try to do grab bags, I try to give y'all stamps that it's really hard for you guys to find where you are. And I'm assuming some of these, oh, see, I did this again, because I I actually enjoy doing this, sending um, no triangle triangles. Um, I try to send y'all stamps that you it's hard for y'all to get. Uh, these old US stamps, sometimes it's hard for us to get here in the States, so I'm assuming they're hard for you to get in the UK. These are old banknotes, the ones I'm showing you now. They're really cool. I got one more at the bottom there I want to show you. And in Columbus. Um, yeah. Some of you guys are going to really like looking at this one. This is a really clean one right here. Really, really clean. This stamp is worth a little bit of money. Um, super old one, I think. Um, three cent. Got George Rock Channel on the front. This is one of the more sought after um, earlier stamps. A lot of them aren't super expensive. But, I mean, look how just intricate the design is and how... Honestly, pretty the stamp looks. Um, I don't think this one has a grill on it. Yeah, I don't think this one has a grill on it. Um, but yeah, this might be one of the better stamps that's in this little collection here. But this is coming your way, Chris, so be on the lookout for it. Um, yeah, so that's what I got. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to give me a grab bag, um, what you do is you go to the description down below. My address is there. Send a grab bag. I'll open it up. I'll show you what I'll be sending you you back in a video as well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys.